So a 3,000 kilogram truck at rest gets hit by a car at a velocity of 48 meters per second. If the car weighs 600 kilos and the car and truck get entangled, what will the velocity of the truck and car be? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is make our chart for initial and final. So it says a 3,000 kilogram truck. So I'm going to do the truck in green. So we have this truck. Here's my truck. It weighs 300 kilos. And it is at rest. So the velocity is just a dot, and it is zero meters per second. Okay. I get that right here, 3,000 kilogram truck at rest. Gets hit by a car, so another object. So our car I'm going to do in black. So there's going to be a car here. And... Gets hit by a car at a velocity of 48 meters per second. So the velocity initial of the car is 48 meters per second. If the car weighs 600 kilos, so we got that 600 kilos from here, 48 meters per second here. If the car weighs 600 kilos and the car and truck get entangled, what will the velocity of the truck and car be? Notice they're going to be moving as one unit. So we only need one picture on the right side. We only need one picture on the right side. I'm going to do it in purple, and I'm going to combine the truck and the car. So we're going to have the truck. I don't know how this is a truck, but it is. And the car, they're now one unit. Now that they are one unit, we're going to add their masses. So we're going to have 3,000 plus 600. So it would be 3,600 kilograms is now their mass. Their velocity, we don't know. Because of this picture and this diagram, though, we know we have a mass and velocity here, a mass and velocity here, and a mass and velocity here. This table pretty much represents an equal. See this line? This is an equal side. So this side has to equal this side. In between the objects, you add them. So we're going to add this plus this to equal this. Okay, and we are solving for VF. So for our givens, givens we have 3,000 kilograms for the truck. If you want, you can subscript or use different colors. The mass of the truck, the velocity of the truck initially is going to be zero meters per second. The car has a mass of 600 kilos, so M sub C, and then the velocity initial for the car is 48 meters per second. For the car and the truck combined, so the mass of the truck car is going to be 3,600 kilos. So we get all this information from here and here. Okay, a lot of people aren't wanting to draw it out. You need to draw it out. It makes it a lot easier. The unknown. Well, just look at the problem. It said, what will be the velocity of the truck? Also, we have mass velocity, mass velocity. We only have mass, what's its velocity? So we are looking for the velocity. We know it's final because it's under the final category. So we're looking for VF. Our equation, we get the equation from here. See, there's one object, has a mass and a velocity. So our first thing we're going to write, mass, and we're talking about a truck, mass of truck, velocity initial of the truck. That's the first thing we write. Then we're going to add these objects together. So we're going to add, still on the left side, we're going to add the truck, which is the mass of the truck, or sorry, car, plus the velocity initial of the car. Now we have this line. This line tells us it equals it, so we are going to equal the mass of the truck car and the velocity final of the truck car. We are solving for the velocity final.
So to sort this, we're just going to divide by the mass of the truck car. So we're going to have MT VIT plus mass of the car VIC. It's going to equal VF TC, because we're going to divide this by MTC and divide all this by MTC, so we're going to do this, MTC. Now we're just going to plug in from here. So from here, mass of the truck, we either have it from our givens or we have it from the picture. Either one. This gives you two ways to do it. So 300 kilograms, sorry, 3,000 times zero meters per second plus 600 kilograms times 48 meters per second divided by 3600 kilos and it's going to all equal Eight. So if it's a velocity, it's going to be eight meters per second.